12 ways to multiply your brain cells and boost your intelligence. After the age of 40, our brains begin to shrink at a rate of around 5% per decade. We also lose our ability to make as many new brain cells and form connections which can lead to memory loss and slower thinking as we reach our 60s and beyond. While we can't stop the ageing process currently, there are ways that you can stimulate the growth of new brain cells to make your brain sharper, smarter and healthier whatever your age. In this video, we'll be exploring the best supplements, diet and lifestyle tips to multiply your brain cells through neurogenesis. These strategies can also help to increase the size of your brain and strengthen neural connections for clearer thinking. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical issues. 1. Aerobic Exercise Aerobic exercise is the number one most important thing you must do to grow more brain cells. Walking, cycling or swimming for example can boost blood flow and oxygen to your brain to improve how your neurons make energy and form connections. Exercise also triggers certain growth proteins which stimulate neurogenesis and this is how you can multiply your brain cells. I also recommend something called high intensity interval training where you intensely exercise in short bursts and then let your heart rate calm down again. This type of training boosts BDNF by up to 300% after exercise, a protein that improves memory, learning and mood. 2. Eat Omega-3s did you know that approximately 60% of your brain is made up of fats, making it the fattiest organ in your body? For this reason, you need to be consuming omega-3 fats from your food in your diet to supply the raw materials needed to grow more brain cells. Virgin cod liver oil, fish oils, algal oil, oily fish like salmon, sardines, anchovies, mackerel and shellfish are all packed full of DHA. This is the type of omega-3 fat that your brain needs to repair damage and renew its structure. When you start adding more DHA rich foods into your diet, you'll soon begin to think more clearly as your brain begins to form more connections and brain cells. You should also cut back on toxic oxidized seed oils which are high in omega-6 and these are things like soy, cotton seed, canola, processed olive oil, corn oils, deep fried foods etc. All of these cause inflammation and make it harder for your brain cells to make energy. 3. Boost your ketones Ketones are actually the preferred fuel source for your brain and they're much more efficient than glucose for making energy in your brain cells. You see, ketones have the ability to bypass parts of your brain that are already damaged to improve its overall health and to lower inflammation. You can boost your ketones very simply by adding 1-2 to two teaspoons of MCT oil to your morning coffee. MCT oil is made from coconut oil and contains a concentrated amount of C8 and C10 fats which have been clinically proven to boost memory, concentration, focus and learning. Your body can also make ketones by itself from your stored body fat when you eat less than 50 grams of carbohydrates per day and we call this the keto diet. Now, number four is very, very good for your brain, intermittent fasting. Another extremely powerful technique to trigger neurogenesis is to eat all of your food for the day within a six hour window. Fasting for the remaining hours of the day and drinking only water during the fasting period. Fasting like this increases brain derived neurotropic factor by an astonishing 400%. That's basically a protein that helps your neurons survive, grow and form connections. Low levels of BDNF are linked with Alzheimer's disease, dementia and depression. So this is why it's so important to not overeat. 
giving your body the chance to rest and digest works wonders in improving your brain health and its plasticity. Moving on now to number 5, cold therapy. Taking a cold plunge or a quick cold shower for a few minutes a day may sound tough, but it actually has some incredible health benefits for your brain and your body. Cryotherapy has been shown to boost norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter that improves your focus, mood and it reduces inflammation in the brain. Many people who have anxiety or depression for example have used cold therapy to lift up their mood and feel calmer. Cold therapy also increases BDNF, again helping you to grow more brain cells and to improve your memory and your learning capability. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. 6. Reduce your stress. Long term emotional stress causes your brain to shrink, particularly the hippocampus which is responsible for making the most new brain cells. High cortisol levels from stress leads to anxiety, overthinking and poor sleep which further harm your brain in the long term. To protect your brain, aim for at least 7-8 to eight hours of sleep each night which is essential for brain repair and neurogenesis. Supplements like magnesium L3 and 8 can also help to reduce stress as it crosses the blood brain barrier and turns off the fight or flight response. Vitamin B1 also relaxes the nervous system and can repair nerve cells to reduce the risk of dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and other brain related diseases. You can get more B1 in your diet by simply eating sunflower seeds, organic pork, squash, nutritional yeast and salmon. 7. Brain damaging foods to avoid. Now healthy nutritious foods can provide the materials and elements that help your brain to grow and repair itself, but in contrast refined foods actually rob your body of nutrients causing your brain to shrink. Processed carbohydrates and sugary foods like fruit juices, sweets, sodas, breads, biscuits, muffins, bagels, flour etc all deplete your vitamin B1 your magnesium and other nutrients which eventually causes damage to your brain if you eat them too often, so try to limit them as much as you can. Alcohol and vegetable oils also kill brain cells and should be avoided as much as possible. 8. Probiotics Friendly microbes that live in your gut ferment fibre that you eat as their food source. When they do this, they then start to release byproducts like butyrate, serotonin and B vitamins which all protect your brain. This connection is what we call the gut brain axis and why it's so important to have a healthy gut. You can boost the diversity and the number of your friendly microbes by eating fermented foods and soluble fibre. These are things like sauerkraut, kimchi, hard cheeses, kefir, pickles and lots of raw vegetables. You may also take a course of probiotic supplements occasionally if you want to give yourself a boost. 9. Sunlight Exposure What you really need to know is that humans evolved outdoors, so our bodies adapted to using sunlight to make certain hormones. Infrared rays from the sun actually penetrate your skull and your skin and boost melatonin levels which protect your brain and improve sleep quality at night. To get your sun I recommend taking long walks in nature and exposing your skin to sunlight for at least 30 minutes a day. Your skin absorbs UV rays and converts them into vitamin D which is also crucial for keeping your brain healthy. 10. Herbal supplements. To take this to the next level, you may also choose to use herbal supplements which have been proven to boost brain cell count and cognitive function. Lion's mane for example, or smart mushroom boosts nerve growth factor to effectively boost your brain cell count. Ginkgo is a herb that boosts blood flow to the brain, helps to protect brain cells and grow new ones in the hippocampus. 
Bacopa monnieri helps your brain cells to make more little branches and connections for better thinking and memory, and rhodiola helps to reduce cortisol and stress for clearer thinking and calmness. Or if you prefer, you can use a multi-herbal blend which I use that's called MindLab Pro. MindLab Pro provides a mixture of different ingredients that support neurogenesis and brain health. I'll put a link down below the video to the supplement that I personally use on a daily basis. 11. Cognitive Stimulation You've probably heard the term use it or lose it, which very much applies to the brain. Stimulate your brain into making more connections and brain cells by regularly challenging it. Doing things like puzzles, reading, learning new skills, or playing musical instruments all can help to strengthen neural connections. Meaningful conversation and debates and being sociable also promotes neurogenesis. And mindfulness, meditation and deep breathing has been shown to increase grey matter in the brain. Finally, I'd like to talk about the top foods and drinks to increase your brain cells. Firstly, the number one food is pasture-raised egg yolks which are rich in choline that builds phosphatidylcholine, a key component of brain tissue and neurons. Also, oily fish is the best protein source for the brain, rich in choline and DHA, the materials that are used to build new brain cells. Organ meats like liver, kidney and brain are also powerhouses full of B vitamins and choline to boost acetylcholine in your brain. Blueberries are rich in an anti-aging phytonutrient called resveratrol that lowers inflammation. Shellfish like crab meat, oysters, shrimp etc are loaded with trace minerals like iodine and zinc which is vital for nerve communication. Green tea contains catechins that lower inflammation in the brain and help reverse insulin resistance so that your brain cells can make more energy. Pumpkin seeds, especially if you sprout them, are rich in magnesium and zinc, both vital for communication between brain cells. Turmeric is a golden spice rich in something called curcumin that lowers inflammation in your brain and a small amount of around 1-2 to two cups of organic coffee in the morning can support brain function, but be warned drinking too much caffeine can have the opposite effect, so don't overdo it. And then we have bone broth which is rich in glycine and other amino acids that serve as building blocks for brain cells. Grass fed butter is loaded with fat soluble vitamins A, E, K2 and also butyrate which are all essential for a healthy brain. Leafy greens also are essential to provide folate to help build red blood cells that carry oxygen to the brain to make energy and support neurogenesis. Summary You can multiply your brain cells by taking actions that boost neurogenesis. You don't have to do everything that you've seen in this video, but doing as many things as you can helps to protect your brain from shrinking with age. Engage in regular aerobic exercise to feed your brain with more oxygen. Eat foods rich in DHA and avoid vegetable oils to promote brain cell growth and repair. Enhance your brain's energy with MCT oil or a low carb keto diet. Practice intermittent fasting to further boost ketones and BDNF. Cold plunges and showers can boost norepinephrine, focus, mood and neurogenesis. Lowering stress with magnesium L3 and 8 and vitamin B1 can prevent brain shrinkage. Avoiding refined carbs, sugars, alcohol and veg oils also helps your brain to function better. Eating fermented foods and probiotics enhances the gut-brain axis and boosts neurotransmitters. Getting regular sunlight can boost vitamin D and melatonin levels. And then there's herbal remedies like Lion's Mane or MindLab Pro which massively boost brain cell growth and overall brain health. Communicating with others, puzzles and mindfulness can boost neural activity and eating foods which provide the nutrients and the raw materials is probably the most important step for renewing your brain. There are also certain signs and symptoms that your body presents when your brain is unhealthy. 
If you'd like to learn about what these symptoms are, watch the video that I've put on your screen now. And thank you so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.